It's been the most amazing experience. Um, we've been on a retreat specially for doctors at Sharpham Estate. Um, and um, the idea being to spend a few days concentrating on ourselves and wellness for ourselves. Yeah, it's been wonderful. So, um, as Em said, we've just spent four days in the most beautiful countryside. We've been spending our time doing group activities such as cooking, um, talking to each other, but also there's been some meditation and there's also been some periods of quiet and silence. It's been a wonderful group, so one of the other elements has been spending time with ten other um, Doctors, we've talked very little about medicine actually, but there's a shared understanding of the challenges that we face day to day in our practice. Um, it's been incredibly restorative um, and I feel very calm and peaceful for the first time in a very long time. There's something about being with a group of doctors that really spoke out to me. Um, I think through my own practice and through supporting learners and other GPs, I've really noticed how important it is to look after yourself and well-being. And I really felt that meditation and mindfulness was one way to do that. And so I wanted to embody that and practice it myself. Although we're well aware and recommend to patients all the time about self-care and looking after yourself, we're probably, as a group, not particularly good at doing it for ourselves. It's, it's, it's gone really well. Um, and it's really um, convinced me of the importance of doctors coming together on retreat because compared to other retreats I've run, it did take a while for the doctors to come out of themselves um, and to really connect with each other. And it's definitely the case that nature and our beautiful landscape was a really important part of that. Uh, going out on walks together, spending time under our ancient yew tree and learning also about the rewilding that we're doing. There were lots of doctors here at various stages of their career and under a varying degrees of burnout and stress and um, it felt like a very supportive week to be able to understand and support each other. I think there's two reasons why doctors need these sorts of retreat. It's true to say that several of the doctors here had back, taken back, a step back from work and were either about to restart or um, were still in a, in a pause situation because of the intensity of our work at the moment and it is the case that we are very bad about looking after ourselves um, and coming together in this safe space in this really beautiful space where uh, people feel nurtured and looked after enabled people to also start self-care which is so important. The other part of it is we really talked about how this is going to change or, or influence the way we are with patients, the way we're able to hold difficulty, the importance of connection. You know, there was a real sense of exploring what connection means. One of the things this, this has done to me is to um, reinforce um, the uh, idea of being with another person and other people and um, I strongly believe that the model of consulting in general practice is under threat and we should be, we should be um, seeing our patients face to face because I think that there's uh, nothing better than that and at the end of the day I think it's more an efficient way of working and a more effective way of working um, and probably if everyone did it the workload would be reduced and I just feel that this retreat has made us um, highlighted that highlighted it yes mm. and um, uh, um, I think we sort of bonded over that. I can only speak for general practice, but it seems to me that, that the profession is part in crisis really, chronic underfunding, overwork, increasing patient expectations, which mean that the job, however you do it, can be really quite challenging with significant stress and strain, and we all cope differently. But for, for those of us that do get stressed from time to time, I think uh, taking time out for self-care. And I think the issue with self-care is everyone says self-care, self-care, but how? You know, at home there's washing to be done, children's homework to complete, you know, the car needs its MOT. How do you do that? And sometimes you just need to kind of briefly, for a period of time, step out 
and it really does give you the space um, to to kind of just recharge and obviously the surroundings here help massively. The clinic can be really fast paced there's lots of information coming to you lots of patients to see and sometimes just being present can be really hard and so practicing the breath having um, that mindfulness outset can be really helpful, I think, managing the workload, managing what you have to do. There was a moment in the retreat where I thought, well, they're going to come here. They've really connected with each other. They've really thrown themselves into the practices, but they're going to leave and that will be that. And then on the second from last night, they came to me and they said, can we set up a mindful, mindful medics WhatsApp group? Will you lead us in meditation once or twice a week? Um, so that was really very exciting for me because obviously it is a practice and the more we do it together, the more, the more helpful it is to ourselves, the more nourishing it is, the more it transforms the way we, the way we are with difficulty and challenges. I'm going back calmer. Um, I don't know how long that will last. It may evaporate on the train. It may evaporate the minute I walk through the front door. But in terms of trying to do things differently, I've got an idea or a framework in my head of, okay, moving forward there are things that i would do differently um so yeah i'm i'm hoping that i can carry some of the things that have helped this last few days into everyday life so that i don't get as stressed and worn out mm -hmm.